this whole hypothesis that it's a numbers game, uh, that dormant tumor cells are very rare. They're one in a million, maybe they're one in 10 million in the human body. And the T cells, the immune cells that would recognize these cells specific for the tumor antigens that they would need to recognize to eliminate these dormant cells are equally as rare. So you have two one in a million populations trying to find each other. And you're expecting that to happen not only once, not only twice, but hundreds, if not thousands of times. And that's like trying to, that's like expecting to win the lottery again and again and again. It's just not going to happen. And so if I charge you with that, if I said you need to win the lottery not only once, but you need to win it, win it 100 or 1,000 times, you'd have to cheat. That's the only way you're gonna do it. And so in this case, how do we cheat? We cheat not by upping the number of tumor cells, which is not what we want. We wanna up the number of T cells that are able to surveil that tumor. And so what we did, I mean, this is fully in collaboration with Stan Riddell's lab. This is like as 50-50 as a collaboration gets. We decided to start testing all of the different ways we could um, increase the number of T cells capable of surveilling the tumor. Of course, Stan, and his lab are famous for CAR T cells. So we uh, developed CAR T cells specific to these dormant breast tumor cells. And we found that as we uh, added in millions of these T cells capable of recognizing and killing the dormant cells, that they could effectively surveil them. They could eliminate up to 98% of these dormant cells. Uh, we engineered T cells that are T cell receptor engineered T cells. So these are T cells that have a T cell receptor that relies on the molecule major histocompatibility complex one, which presents peptides to these TCRs that allow recognition of a cell and elimination of that cell if it has a cognate TCR for the peptide expressed on class one MHC. And what the field had thought prior to that was that dormant cells downregulate MHC and that this is the barrier to them being surveilled. This was our operative hypothesis also, and it agreed with our data for at least two or three years until we really started kind of rigorously testing this approach with these TCR T cells. And we found that at the levels of downregulation that we were observing, that the dormant cells still get cleared by these TCR T cells. So that was kind of like the but what's going on moment, which is that we've seen MHC1 downregulated. We thought this is how they're evading surveillance. The CAR T cells work, they don't depend on MHC. And so we thought, okay, look, this is all consistent. But then once we saw that the TCR T cells were killing them, we thought there must be something else going on. So at that point, we did an experiment where we went from you know, 100 TCR T cells to 1,000 TCR T cells to 10,000, 100,000, a million. We dosed them in you know, at each of these kind of log fold ranges, and we saw definitively that there was a threshold that once you crossed it, you went from having DTCs to not having DTCs. And that to us explained the numbers game. So then we started thinking, okay, well, if we can just boost in the number, achieve what's called an effector to target ratio, T cell to dormant cell ratio of a certain threshold, we can eliminate these cells. So the last thing we wanted to try was vaccination. So Stan's lab developed an approach called T vaccine, which is you take a T cell, you are now not using it to actually directly kill the tumor cell. You're expressing things in it. You route it into an animal. It goes to lymph nodes. It expresses this antigen in the lymph nodes and presents it all over the place. Now the host develops an endogenous response to this, this antigen. It's exactly like a vaccine. Now you have more and more T cells uh, against the tumor. And so when we did this, again, we boosted the number of tumor-specific T cells above a certain threshold that was now sufficient to clear these dormant cells. So CAR T cells, TCR T cells, T cell vaccination, all three are able to achieve the threshold of tumor specific T cells necessary to eliminate these dormant cells. Yeah, it was, it's very cool stuff. <laughs>